In this video, we will learn how to read the time in 24 hours. We have already seen how to read full hours. And I remind you that the small red hand indicates the hours and the large blue hand indicates the minutes. And we have already said that when the large hand is on 12, it is then a clock. And you only need to see the small hand to indicate the time. Like here, it is 4 o'clock. And to know how to read the minutes, you can watch this video by clicking here. But how can we know if it's morning a.m. or evening p.m.? The numbers that are written on the clock are from 1 to 12. These are the hours. And when the little hand did one full turn and reaches again 12, it will continue as 1 p.m., 2 p.m., 3 p.m., 4 p.m., and so on. But when do we say it's 5 a.m. or 5 p.m.? I will explain to you. The day begins when the two hands are on 12. We are at the beginning. It is 0 o'clock. But we say midnight and outside it is dark. At midnight, a day ends and a day begins. Then we start with the hours in red. It's 1 a.m. After it's 2 a.m., then 3 a.m., and of course it's dark, then 4 a.m. and 5 a.m. And now it's 6 a.m. That's about the time the sun rises, and we start to wake up. At 7 a.m., we get ready to go to school. At 8 a.m., 9 a.m., we are at school. And we continue until 10 a.m., which is often recess time. When it reaches to 11 a.m., we have 60 minutes to reach 12. When it reaches 12, we will start the second turn of time. That is called p.m., so it is 12 p.m. Before, we also had the small hand on 12, but it was midnight, and now it is daylight. It's afternoon. Now the morning is over. And the hour hand continues to make a full second turn, but this time you have to look at the hours that are in blue. So after 12 p.m., it's 1 p.m., then 2 p.m. 2 p.m. is often the time we leave school. And we continue with 3 p.m., then 4 p.m. At these times, some students start to do their homework. Then it is 5 p.m., then 6 p.m., and this is the time when we can eat the evening meal. We start dinner at 6 p.m. At 7 p.m., we get ready to sleep. At 8 p.m., you are in your bed, and it's night again. Likewise, 9 p.m., 10 p.m., and 11 p.m., and we will arrive again at 12, so it is midnight. We don't say 24 hours, we say it's midnight, the day is over, and the little hand will start a new day with 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m., and so on. The small hand has made its first turn from midnight until noon, and then started its second turn, from noon until midnight, so in a day there are 24 hours. The hour hand makes two turns starting with 0 until 24. To know the time of the afternoon, we add only 12. For example, 7 p.m. If we add 12, it will be 19. Another example, 10 o'clock in the evening, which means 10 p.m. If we add 12, it will be 22. Here are some clocks. Try to tell me what time it is but in the afternoon. Remember to add 12 to find the afternoon hours. And here are the answers.